Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to rename or change the name of the worksheet by using rename Excel worksheet action. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to delete a worksheet by using delete Excel worksheet action. Again over here, I will show you two scenarios over here. First one, to delete an Excel worksheet by name. And also I will show you how to delete an Excel worksheet by index. All right, let me show you the Excel first. Over here, if you see, I'm having three Excel worksheets over here. One is employee info hyphen copy hyphen one, HR process original hyphen one, and department hyphen one. These names we have renamed in the previous tutorial by using rename Excel worksheet action. Now, I want to delete an Excel worksheet by using delete Excel worksheet action. Let me clear all these actions right now. Let me drag and drop this delete Excel worksheet onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. We're having the same parameters what we had for the rename Excel worksheet action. The first one is the Excel instance. So we are going to use the Excel instance which we have created as part of the launch Excel. All right, now delete worksheet with. There we are having two options. One is name, another one index. First we'll see with name. So I want to delete the worksheet which is there in the Excel by worksheet name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this entire name of the worksheet and then I'm going to give it at the parameter that is worksheet name parameter. I'm going to give it the name as employee info hyphen copy hyphen one. This is the name which we have currently for the worksheet. All right. Now what will happen by using this action, it will delete the worksheet with the name of employee info hyphen copy hyphen one. All right. Let me click on save. After that, what will happen when I'm going to close the Excel First, it will save the document and then it will close the document. All right, let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow. Flow execution started. And you can see it is asking that data may exist in the sheet selected for the deletion. This will be permanent deleted. Delete it. After deletion, the entire Excel has been saved successfully and closed the Excel. Let's open the Excel to see the output. Now, if you see, Previously, we had employee info hyphen copy hyphen one worksheet. Right now, it is not available as part of this Excel. All right. Now, I will show you another use case, how to delete an Excel worksheet by using index. All right. Now, if you see over here, let me double click on the delete Excel worksheet action. Over here, I have selected the name to delete worksheet with. Now, I'm going to select the index based on the index that I'm going to delete the worksheet. Now, if you observe in my Excel, previously I had three worksheets. Right now I'm having only two so that the HR process original hyphen one worksheet starts with the index one and the department two. Now I want to delete the worksheet with the name of department hyphen one. The index of this department hyphen one worksheet is two so that when I'm going to give the index as two over here, it will delete that worksheet. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. After deletion, it's went to the close Excel and after that it has been saved successfully. Now let me show you the Excel to see the output. Over here, if you observe, previously I had department's worksheet, right? Now I don't have that worksheet. That worksheet has been deleted based on the index. All right. I hope you understand how to delete a particular worksheet using name or using index by using delete Excel worksheet action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.